Hey folks, Ray from DCRamworker.com here. Today I've got everything you need to know about the new Garmin Instinct watch I just announced today. I've been using it for the past month or so, so I'm going to run through all the nuances of it and kind of explain how to make sense of this Casio-like looking watch. Now, of course, with the particular design style they've chosen, you're either pretty much going to love it or hate it. There's not really going to be a lot of middle ground there, and that's probably all right. Uh, if you look at like the people that like Casio watches, you're probably going to like this. So starting off with the external side of things, uh, it is waterproof to 100 meters, which is more than the Vivo Active 3, which is only 50 meters. Uh, now, this is basically matches the Phoenix 5 series, which is also 100 meters. Uh, it also says it is mil spec for basically drop testing and stuff, so I can go ahead and I can, in theory, drop this. Um, do I drop it on the rock? Good news, it's totally good. So dropped it on the rock that time. Um, battery life is really interesting too. So battery life on this is 16 hours of GPS on mode uh, or two weeks of just standby mode. And they can also do ultra track up to 40 hours in Garmin's kind of reduced tracking mode. So that's usually fine for hiking, not so good for like running or cycling and stuff like that. I'm also pretty sure if I had just dropped the Vivo Active 3 on its face on that rock there, this the video would have pretty much ended at that point in time so also pretty sure if i'd done that with a phoenix 5 the video would have also have ended so with that hope you found this interesting go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there if you did the garmin instinct tactical solar now they have two models um the solar and non-solar personally bottom i'm up front um i got the solar because i thought you know for a survival situation where i may be out getting the sun's you know beams to help extend the battery life i thought that'd be great um the solar comes in a black and olive drab the non-solar gets is black and uh coyote tan and i actually do like the coyote tan better i think it looks cooler <clears throat> but the thing is is that this claims to have like you know 20 something odd day battery life i could only get 10 and that's running you know understandably i run every old subscribers thanks for watching this is the Garmin Tactics Delta Solar with Applied Ballistics uh, watch. So they offer this in a number of different models. They offer just the Garmin Tactics Delta, the Garmin Tactics Delta with Solar, and the Garmin Tactics Delta with Solar and Applied Ballistics. Uh, that is the one that we have here. So it's sort of like the granddaddy of the Tactics series of watches. Now, a viewer actually asked me about this, I don't know, five or six months ago. And then right after that, a swarm of viewers asked me about it. So that I'm guessing is when it was released. What we have here is the Garmin Phoenix 5 X with the Sapphire lens. Just for size comparison, you guys can see they're both fairly large watches. So just know that you are gonna have a large watch on your wrist if you go with this. That said, a lot of people like that, myself included. I am a fan. It's also relatively thick. It's 15 millimeters thick. And you can see basically we have our sapphire glass. So I appreciate all of you guys watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Hey, today I want to do a quick review and demonstration of this really nice smartwatch. I've been using it for a little while. It's very cool. I really like it a lot. So I want to give you a quick, uh, I like the band a lot. I like how it's got these big open slits for the adjustable wristband. It just makes it so you don't have a bunch of sweat and water or whatever it gets trapped under there it kind of airs it out so it's really nice it's super comfortable it's a silicone band so look and feel are great um, but the actual function is really awesome too it's very comparable to much more expensive smartwatches it does all of the same sort of things um, in here you can set up a uh, heart rate to go continuously different time uh, there's so many different things you can do, reminders throughout the day to move, to drink water, for weather, like there's just a lot of different really cool things um, that are possible with that. Um, so on here, again, it's the way I have it set up is just kind of for demonstrative, but uh, it shows the day of the week, the actual date, the time. Hey guys, welcome back to Proc Nation. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Amazfit T-Rex smartwatch and let's just jump right in. So let's begin with some good old unboxing. Getting into the box is pretty straightforward. We've seen this a thousand times before. The packaging has all the information you need to know about the watch 
right on there at the back, Bluetooth connectivity, etc. So you guys can check that out as well. Getting into the box, you get the watch itself. Now it comes with a sticker on the front of the screen. That's not the AMOLED display, but that's pretty much how it looks like when you take it off. And right off the bat, the watch looks really, really great. Inside the box, you've included the charging cable and the instruction manual. So opening that, you can see that that's the magnetic charger that is used to charge it and also the instruction manual. The watch itself looks really great. The straps are pretty nice. Just from first look, it's quite light. I didn't expect that. Comparing it to my regular Fossil watch, which is quite heavy compared to this, the size-wise, they look the same, but weight-wise, they're completely different. Almost the same as my Galaxy Watch Active, which I'll kind of compare it to later in the video. Peeling off the sticker reveals the AMOLED screen underneath, which is pure black when it's black. And you've got buttons up, down, select, and back on the watch. The strap is also pretty decent. It's like a silicone strap, kind of flimsy, but not too bad. And there's no removable mechanism and there's the sensors at the back. Hold the select button to turn it on and it shows you Amazfit right there and also presents a barcode to you guys. So what you're going to need to do is install the Amazfit app, put in all of your information like your weight, your height, etc. And also that's pretty much it. You're into the app now. All you need to do next is connect your device to the application, which can be done very easily. And we'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.